This is not the first time we've been in this position. You know, right after the Second World War, we had just as high or higher debt to GDP ratio. And uh, we didn't get out of that by taxing heavily and cutting heavily. We got out by growing the economy. Right now we're faced with the uh, prospect of 14 million people being long-term unemployed and another 16 to 17 million people being underemployed, not really being able to pursue the careers that they've trained for, been educated for, or the career paths that they want to be on. The way to fix the debt and the deficit is to get the economy going. The last major investment was the uh, interstate highway system, which dur was during the Eisenhower administration. That paid off, but it's now crumbling. It needs to be repaired. There are other things that we need to do. We need mass transit systems. We need uh, municipal uh, services systems that are getting to the point where they're beginning to impact environments of people living downstream from major cities. Los Angeles had passed a 30-year bond program and they were intending to take that time to build a mass transit system so that they could take some of the pressure off their freeway system. One morning the mayor of Los Angeles woke up and said, why are we taking 30 years? We can do it in 10. And so they, by changing over from 30 to 10 years, Southern California created 400,000 new construction jobs. 400,000 new construction jobs was just the tip of the iceberg. There are all kinds of jobs that go into supporting that construction boom, and that's going to percolate all the way through their economy in Southern California. We can do the same thing on a national level. We can look at transportation systems, we can look at electrical grids, we can look at IT systems, we can look at municipal systems, we can invest in the things that we need to start investing in. We can invest in alternative energy sources so that we can cut down our dependence on fossil fuels and start cutting off the, uh, the effects of global warming. All these things we can do if we're not afraid and we believe in ourselves and believe that we can take and master our own future.